It's 11 a.m. in the morning. I'm making fried mashed potatoes, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, no. Hi, my name is Grace. I'm now you know your life is different now. I had an idea with the Thanksgiving of it all coming up that I wanted to make fried mashed potato balls. I am PMSing, so you're right. And I went online, I looked up fried mashed potato balls, and there's a billion recipes, and I didn't look at a single one of them because ignorance is bliss, stupidity is blessed. Put it on a pillow, sit on it, fart on it, all of it. I have some idea in my head of how to do this, and I didn't want to be influenced by other people's successful tried and true recipes. I wanted to try it on my own, truly. And here we are. I'm. I'm already overwhelmed. Okay, so I went to the store, I got instant mashed potatoes, some eggs, um, I also got some instant stuffing because I might try and make some fried stuffing balls too. I think years and years and years ago I tried to make fried stuffing. No, I tried to make fried salad. I don't remember. I've probably tried to make something very similar to this in the past, but it's now the future. So we're maybe doing it again? I didn't know if I wanted to do instant mashed potatoes or homemade mashed potatoes. So currently, I have two potatoes chopped up, boiling in a pot back there for the potential that that, that works. I figure I'll make the instant mashed potatoes and the stuffing, and then we'll go from there and see what our best options are. If this works, this is like a really cute way to take your Thanksgiving leftovers and make them cute and worse for you. Next week is the week we all officially agree to give up. That's my favorite thing about Thanksgiving. So first things first, we're gonna make these instant mashed potatoes. I don't know if I've ever made instant mashed potatoes. <laughs> dork. I'm not gonna make a ton because I'm not a monster. We're into two thirds cup of water. Also, by the way, last night I did an at home food allergy test. Super fun. But I had to prick both of my ring fingers. And it's really fun and appetizing to watch a person with two kind of gross band-aids on their fingers Manipulate food with their hands. Two thirds cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon butter. I only have Himalayan sea salt left in my house because I'm an asshole. Great, that seems right. I got, I can't believe it's not buttered light because I'm an asshole. Mm. Perfect, okay. Ooh, I think that was gross what I just did. So now we're gonna put this on the uh, stove top and heat it to a boil. But that's going, okay, now, um, I thought I had this like figured out and planned out for myself, but I guess I didn't. I read on the side of this that you can microwave this stuffing. That's trash taste levels right there, and I'm all for it, so that's what we're gonna do here. We need a microwave safe bowl. God damn it, are you microwave safe? I have very minimal bowls. I'm gonna assume that you are, because you can't spell assume without meh. So we combine the stuffing mix, one and a half cups of hot water. Hello, I would like to enter you, and that's how you ask for consent. Four tablespoons of butter. One, two, three, four. Great job, everybody. That was gross. Oh, this is boiling. Our water's, ah, okay. The water's boiling, so we're gonna put in two thirds a cup of the potato mixture. Ow, my pricked fingers. A couple of pricks, two thirds of a cup. No! It's snowing. One third. Two thirds. A third cup of milk. Now we have to stir it. Whoa. Wow. And just like that, they're potatoes. Cool. Yeah, it's freaking delicious. Why am I even trying to do it that way? Because I love trying. I'm gonna be an impatient asshole and put this in the freezer to let it cool down before we try and deep fry it because that seems like a thing. Everything smells like burning. Let's handle our stuffing now. Hot water, hot water. Does it really need to be hot? Because it's gonna go in a microwave. I'll use this water. I use some of the potato water. I'm combining it with regular cold water. Welcome to Disgusting Kitchen with Grace Helbig. Okay, now we put it in the microwave for five to six minutes. This seems wrong. <laughs> That's gonna do its thing for a second. Okay, I'm gonna recollect my everything and be right back. <laughs> Many things have gone on. One, I made a really cute workstation for myself. Two, the stuffing is finished in the microwave and I put that in the freezer to, you know, expedite my impatient assholeness. Three, the mashed potatoes, look at them, have cooled down enough and taste great, by the way. We've created a little frying station here. I have flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. Again, didn't look up any recipes. Didn't want anyone else's influence. I think this is how you fry things. And now I'm gonna fill a little skillet with some oil, heat it up, and we're gonna get to making some balls and frying them up. <sighs> I'm using vegetable oil. I don't know. I'm using vegetable oil because it's literally all I have. Because I forgot about the oil part of the frying part of 
you know, the, just the major part of this recipe when I was out buying ingredients. Also, we have foregone the homemade mashed potatoes part of this. I'll make them for myself as mashed potatoes. But you should, you know, do what you want for yourself all the time, forever, as long as you're not hurting anyone. That's my entire piece of life advice. Let's check on our stuffing. How are you do? Oh, okay. it went everywhere. That was gross what I just did. I know it, you know it. I remember one time seeing on um, Rachel Ray's 30 Minute Meals that you know that oil is ready to fry things in when you put the end of a wooden spoon in it and bubbles create around the, the penetration of the wood and the, the warm oils. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, ready? Let's just do it. I'm touching it, my hands are clean. I've washed them within the last week. We're gonna form a little ball. We're gonna roll it in some flour. I don't know if this part is necessary. And then we're gonna put it in the egg mixture. And then we're gonna put in the breadcrumbs. Okay, we gotta something, let's keep going. Can you imagine when you host Thanksgiving the next day, everyone's wildly hungover and you got some flour, some eggs, some breadcrumbs, and some leftover mashed potatoes, and you make this shit for everyone, you will get the best Christmas gifts or whatever holiday gifts you celebrate. I mean, that's at least what you deserve. If these are great, these might give me salmonella. I don't know. We'll do just a couple more because what's the point of making a lot if they're all bad? <laughs> My philosophy for how I started making YouTube videos. You wondered how I handle balls. Come on. This is also a great way to explain how babies are made. Ball full of mashed potatoes, combines with some egg, and you cook it for a little bit. And voila, you got something you gotta take care of for 18 years. You guys look great. What's better than having two band-aids on your fingers while you cook? Having two wet band-aids on your fingers while you cook. Let's see how this oil's doing. Oh, we got bubbles. It's time to put it in the oil, y'all. Here we go. Woo! Look at him go! Whoa! Because I am making this up on the fly and I haven't consulted other recipes, I have no idea how long to keep them in the oil for. We're gonna turn them over, I guess, until they get their tan on. The fun thing about cooking is how stressful it is sometimes. Whoa, these are frying fast! Dang! They got golden brown within seconds. I'm gonna take them out and put them on a paper towel to cool down. They cooked faster and better than I anticipated. Before they fully cool down is I have these like parsley flakes. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of them on to make it look interesting. Guys, I'm so excited for your Thanksgiving hangover. Look at this beauty. We're gonna do the same thing for the stuffing now and see what the f happens. And this is good for vegetarians? I don't know, what am I trying to sell you on? Are you not entertained? Into the hot pan. Holy shit, I think I did something great. That's what I would say at my climax. That went really well. These look amazing. And the fun thing is you can't really tell which one's which. So there's some opportunities for some fun, harmless pranks. I did heat up some canned gravy that I was gonna pour on top of this because we can do it. Oh, this is gross. This might not be the right choice. Let me show you up close. Wow, wow, wow. Just a bunch of glazed donuts, psych. You get yourself a savory hangover cure, potentially. Okay, now it's the time of truth because everything's been a lie up until now. Let's taste these. Here's the fried mashed potato bomb. It's fucking delicious. It's fucking delicious. It's fucking delicious. Sue me if you make this and you don't think it's delicious. Fuck, that's delicious, okay? So yeah, you will be a god if you make this the day after Thanksgiving with your leftovers. But let me try this stuffing. Yeah! Spoiler alert, bread on bread. It's fucking great. That's fantastic. Oh my god, I did it. I had an idea, I executed, and I made it, and it worked. And I don't feel like I should have this level of confidence surging through my veins right now. To be fair, it's probably just a bunch of I can't believe it's not better, low calorie. But either way, I feel crazy amped. If you guys make this, which I fully encourage you to do, because this actually was relatively easy compared to, you know, my cooking experience in the past, let me know, tag me, show me how yours turned out. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I make videos whenever I get a PMSing wild hair for carbs. And you never know when that's gonna be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving or it's not your Thanksgiving season, looking at you, Canada, 
this is just an amazing thing to make for anyone. This is wonderful. I am still in a slight state of shock that this actually worked out relatively effortlessly. I'm thankful for my brain. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's amazing. Hey Grace, I'm proud of you, thank you.